Hey everybody, welcome back to Kill by Daylight, becoming a Plague Man number... The prestige work is finally here, and look at it! Look at it! It's all so beautiful, everybody's perks unlocked, except for... Old, old Dredgy here, because I didn't get him up, because... Blood points are not floweth. Exactly, so he he did not get the love that everybody else did said that went to the survivors because but Today we're gonna be looking at some some of the new perks that got Changed buffed uh, To be fair, this is a very killer sided patch. I think everybody can be in agreement with that It's fairly obvious right a lot of changes that were good were killer sided a lot of the bad ones Dead hard being nerfed specifically are survivor sided. A lot of their perks got touched very hard. Um, killer perks got touched. Uh, conveniently, Pop Goes the Weasel, Weasel is on this basic. We talked about that when this one got nerfed pretty freaking hard. Um, but there aren't many that did get touched in an interesting, interesting way. So we're gonna be checking out what these four, and then uh, a couple on this page. These three. Just to see how they do. Also, I haven't played Killer yet, so I have no idea how the new changes feel. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, before we get into it, if you have any recommendations for builds on any killer, let me know. Now that I have access to all of them, the return of Let's Kill With, where we play one random killer at random. It's redundant, but you get it. Let me know your part combos. Or I'm just gonna keep stealing from Tofu and I'm gonna open up a random perk generator and just steal his entire shtick. But for now, we're checking out Lethal Pursuer, which got a, 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 a pretty decent buff, right? The overall time that you see a survivor at the start of the trial did not change. What did change was uh, anytime an aura of a survivor is shown, that duration is increased by two seconds. And they even confirmed by proxy, Lethal Pursuer is extended to 11 seconds instead of 9 because it is getting its own effect on top of it. 11 seconds of seeing survivors is pretty good, is very, very good. And that goes along with um, Bloods of Rage. I've never used this perk because it was on Sadako. And I didn't have Sadako leveled up because I never played her. Now, every killer has this perk on it, so might as well check it out, right? This isn't- this didn't get touched at all, but I figured it's good to have this and Lethal Pursuer because now I think this is gonna replace Barbecue. Because it's just- I don't know, it's more overall useful, right? When you hook somebody on a Scourge Hook, all other survivors have their auras revealed for 7 seconds, that's 9 with Lethal Pursuer, and Unlike barbecue, if we can find it here. There it is. I'm like, is barbecue not here? This is for four seconds, so five seconds less. But they have to be farther than 40 meters from the hook. Plus of rage, again, five extra. S no. Why'd I say. No, yeah, because um, I'm like, taking into account lethal. Apparently, this would be six seconds. This is nine, so it's a three second difference either way. Truck, Shepard. We'll just wait. That's fine, truck. Noisy trucks. Noisy trucks. Um, but basically, you hook somebody on a skirt hook, you see sur survivor auras, no matter where they are. They could be diving hook. You'll see their aura behind that nice little barrel two feet away from you for a whole nine seconds. That's pretty good. That sounds a lot, lot better than barbecue. So we're gonna use that. Again, the only caveat, you gotta hook them on a scourge hook. Because we're doing that, we're running pain resonance. This got touched, um, number wise, it didn't, it's just now that, uh, you don't see the explosion on the gen. Like the gen will explode, but you won't get that notification and the survivors will not be knocked off, nor will they scream so you don't know what gen exploded. That's just a good balance, I think so it's I think this is gonna be the number one go-to right a gen that the, the gen with the most progress being worked on explodes for 15% progress and starts regressing 
I, th I think that might be the go-to uh, hook regression perk. Uh, and we're gonna try out Gift of Pain. I've never- did I use this on the Cenobite? I might have- I might have, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, basically, you hook somebody on a Scourge Hook, you can see the pattern here. I do not have Monstrous Shrine. I don't believe I do, because that- that- that perk is booty. That perk was booty before, and um... Why would I pick it up? Maybe now I do pick it up if I'm gonna be running this gimmick build, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, Hokemon and Scourge Hook, they suffer from hemorrhage and mangle side effect until fully healed. When they are fully healed for the first time, they are- they suffer 16% speed penalty to healing and repair actions until injured again. So I'm assuming... Hokemon and Hook, they get taken off, they get healed, they get that penalty, you down them again, hook them on a Scourge Hook again, they get unhooked, and then they suffer from that again? I'm assuming that's what- how that works. Uh, we're using our effectiveness add-ons, and, uh, I still got some flans on her, so... Let's see what we can do. Uh, apparently matchmaking is a little bit wonky. And, uh, people were speculating it's because of the... Uh, blood point incentive bonus. That it wasn't flipping, because... I'm recording this the day after. The survivor video that just went up today. And in that, uh, all day, Survivor was getting the bonuses, and I was like, okay, people are playing killer a lot. That makes sense. People want to try out the new killer things. So, that just makes sense to me. But apparently, it wasn't flipping over properly. That's kind of not great. So, people are speculating that might have actually borked MMR up. Because this game needs more things to f fuck with MMR. For real. So we'll see how this goes. I know Scott made made a video saying that, like, yeah, he would get one really good survivor that was like moonwalking mid loop and they were taking taking the optimum routes and they were looping very, very well, but the other three were basically just bought the game. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh but like I said, I haven't played as killer yet. So, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how the, the new speed bonuses work, speed buffs. You kick gens, walls, and pallets faster. Ooh! I mean, if you spawn all together, I will know. I will know, so that's fine. But, uh, you, yeah, you kick walls, pallets, gens quicker, uh, successful basic attack, weapons, cleans are now quicker by 10%. Everything's little incremental increases. But, well, gens, you kick a gen now, it automatically regresses 2.5%. So, there's a reason to kick a gen now, right? Um, but everything else is like, 10% taken off, uh, added uh, speed bonus to this. Like, alright, that's 10%, not that much. Uh, but also, when you basic attack, or you just damage a survivor from healthy to injured, they n no longer run for as long. They don't get that speed boost for as long, so... That, in conjunction with the weapon clean animation being sped up a bit, that's a 20% increase to killer side, so... That's how I'm looking at it. I know a lot of people have said that, so... We'll see. We'll see how if, if it, it really does feel different. I know people were saying, like... Brutal Strength now is god tier because of the kicking animation increase. We'll see. Bad Ham. Ham Bad. School Pre 2. Uh, where are y'all? There you are. There's two over there. There's one over there. Is one of them using distortion, Pesa? Okay, there was one over here. Oh, oh! I haven't played Killer in like a fucking month. Lord, whoa! Good lag, Lori. Whoa! Cool lag. Oh, I fucking whip, man. Who's playing boosted me? Okay, that's that's pretty noticeable. I I can notice that. All right. Oh, where are we going, Lori? You got dead hard? Ha ha ha. Lo oh god, that was a fucking juke and a half. 
I'm gonna say, I don't think you get that. Yeah, that's very noticeable, actually. I'm noticing that pretty hard. You gotta fucking- oh my god, no- They did a gen already. Damn, dude, really? Didn't feel like that chase lasted that long, but alright, shit. Alright. That didn't feel like it lasted that long, but alright. Gens are also increased by 10 seconds, you know, so... You kids down here? No. I didn't hit that. Buh? I hit that one though, oddly enough. Okay. Oh, I wish I would have gotten him on a scourge hook. That way I could have been like... They're clearly... Now I see them, you know? And also get... Gotten the regression. Well, uh... Bad time, old chum. Where'd you go? She was just here. What the hell? Don't do that. Bad, I'm not, not my strong suit. Yes, great. Where? What the hell? Alright, cool. Was it this one? Not my best showing, because everybody's ratting around, it seems. Or I just can't fucking find them. Okay. I, I just can't find anybody. Shit. Is this an entrance? Yeah, we were here. These might be the greatest survivors ever, because I have seen one whole person. You guys, on that gen. No, you haven't even touched that gen. I also expect Prove Thyself to get like a big increase in usage. Right? I don't know why you didn't take... Wow. There's a pallet here? No. I was gonna say, is there a pallet here? Nay. Nay, I say. Can we get a... We have basement down here. But also, not Scourge basement. Would've been cool. I mean, yeah, if I'm not, like, constantly harassing you guys, you're gonna get gens done. There's two gens left, good lord. How do I get out of this hell? Okay, we're fine. We're doing good. We're doing it. Break this. That still s is fairly painful. It's breaking walls, not the speed. Does anybody want to play? That one's not going. I'm getting no value out of my fucking scourge hooks. <laughs> that makes me sad. Okay. Good lord! We are really getting gen rushed. Damn, dude. Even with the increase, so... 90 seconds I really didn't... Also, that was the one down there? Alright, I should have kicked it. Hello? Oh, hello, Kate! Oh my god, I actually got that shit. Don't stun me. Rude. And also, no scourge hooks. This is my problem with scourge hooks. Okay, honey, can I can I... Just let me put you on the hook! Where could they- man, okay, yeah, I'm seeing why I would use, still use barbecue. I'm being very honest with ye. I'm seeing why- did that not count? You're on that one, right? Did you just cleanse over here? Yeah, you did. Oh, paint like fucking Sherwin-Williams.
Oh, there's a fucking vault there. Interesting. And there's a scourge hook here, so we will get value. Madam! Oh, you can't go through there. I was gonna say, if fucking... Man, I'm out of fucking practice. I'm absolutely out of practice. Out of practice. Scourge hook, though. Go! I'm sorry? That's a scourge hook. Yeah, um... Why, though? I love playing against PC players. I'm gonna still smack you. You don't... You bumped into a wall. And I still get you! How do you do that? I know you went in here for a purpose, because... Fucking boil over. Yeah, I'm taking you to Scourge Hook. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we make it. Boil over is a son of a bitch. Also, I'm like so close, and boil over is such a pain in the ass. Still, man, I'm surprised you didn't just teabag behind me. That that seems like this fucking team. Oh, uh, this this door is already open. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, hold up, hold the fucking phone. Where did you teleport to? I'm gonna say. Yeah, I kind of figured that one. You here? Am I? Am I actually missing something? With these scourge hooks? I believe I'm missing something with the scourge hooks. That's a ki that's a kill. That's a K. Where is she's here. I could just camp you. Yeah, drop that pallet. Hell yeah. Yeah, that one's open already. Right? No, it's not. It's not even fucking 99. It's not even you should have took the vault here. It's like, why are you running? Where are you running? It's a good question I have. Oh, boil over. So I'm gonna put you on the original skirt hook I wanted. It's this one. Well, it's not. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. No, the bush is not where I want you. I want you on this hook. So me thinks, me starting to see. The problem with skirt hooks is not what me thinks it was. Or there is no... The problem is not self-evident. Or how to be used is not self-evident. Who's coming for you? No one. Man, I wish I wish there was another fucking... Fountain. Another red... Red juice. That I could use. That one's almost open. So if I just, like, proxy... We guarantee t ourselves it's 2k. Cool. She's uh she's dying. Are are they gonna make a bold and daring escape attempt? Nope. She rather they'd rather just leave. I'm stuck on trash, which is what I am right now, so it's fitting. Scourge hooks. I have to read what a scourge hook does. What does this feel like? I'm never gonna know. Never gonna do. Hey, we did our challenge though. We hooked four of them. No, you could have kept going up. That's fine. Uh, we had bond. We had adrenaline. We have decisive. We have tenacity. This guy. This just got a big buff, right? 
Yeah, Grunts of Pain while Dying State are now, uh, just Tier 3 Ironwell. Or Tier 3... No, either. I forgot the name of it. Uh, yeah, Prove Thyself is gonna be a big one, right? Because they just had a, a yellow toolbox and some med kits. Prove Thyself is gonna be really useful. Because the thing that goes up per tier is the blood points gained for co-op actions, not the 15% repair speed bonus for everyone working on the gen. So if you have two people working on the gen, that's basically 30% repair speed. Three people, 45. You're never gonna, very rarely you're gonna get four people on a gen. But if you do, 60%. I believe that's how it works. Uh, boil over. Uh, that could still, in my opinion, boil over is still a problem, but meh, whatever. Urban evasion, so they were urban evading. And dance with me, I love dance with me. Uh, use that with life, not uh, urban evasion, but yeah, what are you gonna do? DS got nerfed into the ground for some reason. Whatever, breakdown. Uh, aftercare and slippery meat. Okay. This is not happening. Dead hard got nerfed so hard. Uh, blast mine and deliverance. Deliverance, I think, is gonna be a big one if you're, uh, solo queuing. That's just me. Uh, so let's... Let's go cash this in and then do some reading about scourge hooks. Cause I sw I'm pretty sure I read it as... You hook them on a scourge hook... And then their auras are revealed for Floods of Rage. I know, um... Pain Resonance, that effect activates automatically when you put them on a hook. I, I, I understand that's how that happens. That's how that works. Uh, damage six gens. Um, you know what? That's the next build, so might as well. what I get? A Legion Mask. Cool. Um, nothing, nothing. I didn't play sh toxically, so I'm like, I don't know, just paranoia. Um, Pain Resonance, you hook somebody, anybody, anytime a survivor is hooked on a scourge hook, the generator with the most progress explodes, instantly losing 15. Got it. Gift of Pain, I keep reading scourge hook and be like, that's not the perk name, because if it, if I do that, it's going to be scourge hook, scourge hook, scourge hook. That's not it. Uh, Gift of Pain, when they are unhooked from a scourge hook, they suffer from hemorrhage, mangle satisfying until fully healed. First time the survivor is healed. They suffer from 16% speed penalty of, to healing and repairing actions until healed again. Okay, so they have to be unhooked from the thing. So these two work in tandem. Scourge hook, boom. Gen with the most progress, explodes, losing 15%, starts to regress. They unhook from that while they suffer from hemorrhage, mangled, and then suffer from 16% speed penalty when they're fully healed. When a survivor is unhooked, oh! Oh, this perk is dead to me then. Oh. Man, if this was when a survivor is hooked on a scourge hook, all those survivors have their auras revealed for seven seconds, I'd be like, hell yeah. Well, if I'm looking for aura reading, it's barbecue still. Even though it's aura reading abilities are still dog shit. Everybody was using it for blood points and behavior. Got that shit out real hard. Um, so, mm, Floods of Rage, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do some heavy lifting to really, really make it out. I mean, I could use really any other aura reading perk. Like, other ones that I can't think of right now. Uh, let's move on to the next build. Uh, Filling Tremors is my go-to for, um, well, finding people, right? I've always loved Thrilling Tremors. Knock somebody down, you hook them on a hook, and, uh, or you actually just knock them down, pick them up, and all generators not being worked on are blocked for 16 seconds, and they're highlighted in white. So you pick somebody up, hook them up, and you go, that one is still in red. That's where they are. I wish this got a buff by, uh, lowering the cooldown. But I could see why it's still at 60. I would have preferred uh, 45 seconds. That would have been a nice buff, but I digress. Uh, we're also going to be running Corrupt, which now the biggest thing with this one. Uh, it still goes for two minutes or until a survivor enters the dying state, which is... I know people were freaking out. I was kind of freaking out about it. It's fair. It's a fair one. It makes sense, right? You start the match. You find somebody within 30 seconds. You down them. The survivors still have to wait a whole 
90 seconds to work on a gen. This is a fine, fine balance. I wouldn't even say it's a nerf because you're still getting the entire perk aspect if you're a hag or a trapper, somebody who needs to set up. But as soon as you drop somebody, it stops. That's fine. Um, Overcharge got a big, it got an enormous buff. And they scaled it back because, yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, everything about it still happens. This has actually been the, one of the stars of this, uh, becoming a killer main season. Because I got that early on and was like, you know what? We're using it through all of Prestige 2, so screw it. Uh, but it still does what it does, right? Kick a gen. Uh, anybody who touches it is, uh, tasked with, a. A difficult skill check. I thought it was tremendously difficult, but it's a very difficult skill check. They fail it, additional 5% is lost in the gen, and it explodes, telling me where everything is. If they hit it, uh, no progress, but prevents the gen explosion. Whatever. But, the big one. After overcharge is applied to a gen, its regression speed increases from 75% of normal to 200 of normal over the next 30 seconds. This was originally 100% of normal, to 400% in 30 seconds. That compare, combined with Call of Brine, which Jen's kicked uh, regress for 200% of normal regression for 60 seconds. Um, yeah. It's, um, it's a little much. It's a little much. So, they toned it back. I wish it was 100% of normal to 200% because whatever. The whole skill check thing, I think, is why they didn't do that. Uh, we're just running oppression. Why not? Actually, we have blood points. I did get her to up to level 7. I did prestige her. So I want to get Surge. Surge is one of my all-time favorite perks to use on Killer. Because it just works. Um, But I only have tier 2. So the regression isn't the greatest on it. And Bazinga! Fucking Big Bang Bazinga. We're running a meme build now. LOL. JK on this build. Fuck that. Oh no. Where is it? Oh, it's under- I'm like, it's under Surge, right? No, that's- that's its old name. Oh god, Jolt. That's what it is. Well, there it is. I'm like, where is it? This one got a big buff because now it no longer has a... Uh... A cooldown. <laughs> That's insane. I played against a fucking hillbilly on um the game and he downed one person. The gen I'm working on explodes. I'm like, alright, whatever. He downs another buddy, it explodes again. Jesus Christ. Overcharge jolt. Where is it? Where is it? And the dragon's grip. Cause I'm a bastard right now. Fuck it. I'm a kick a gen, it's gonna highlight in yellow, so they'll probably think. Uh it just starts with a C. There it is, call a brine. Because this highlights that uh gen in yellow. Oh, I can see it or in yellow. Eh. Whatever. But I'll kick it, it gets overcharged, they'll come over and be like, I gotta touch this. Oops, Dragon's Grip, and then I insta down them with Jolt, because they see Dragon's Grip for the first time, they're gonna flip the fuck out, miss that skill check, it explodes, I'll go, I'm going over there now. And bzz, bing, bang, bazinga, we're doing it. This is a meme build now. This is, this is me now. This is who I am. They really have to hurry this change up. With, um... Oops, with the whole like higher rarity things appearing in earlier blood webs. That would be cool. Oh no, a couple of babies. Perk or a uh, perk? Prestige numbers mean fuck all. Oh, you're or you're tier three, and that means everybody else has blast mine. So you might be bringing blast mine. Which is gonna suck for me, because I gotta kick some gens. Damage six gens. Uh, which I don't think you could cheese that by using oppression. Because technically oppression 
you, you kick. By the way, this entire screen here, not this one, this background, the flag waving and the embers lag the shit out of this game for me. I don't know why. It's like it makes it so impossible to move through menus on this screen. Uh, but oppression does damage gens, but I don't think it counts towards damage gen challenges. Just because when they say damage gen, they're meaning you kick it. I expect builds like this to thrive right now, right? Because of how fast the kicking speed is. Like, I didn't kick a gen in that match because I thought Scourge Hooks were going to carry us, but... You kind of get f screwed on RNG with Scourge Hooks sometimes. Sometimes there's one right next to you, and sometimes they're all... All four of them are on the other side of the map. That moment sucks. That sucks a big dingus. So... Yeah. So we didn't kick a gen. Uh, we kicked the door and that was like, whatever, it's a door. Boo fucking whoa. Surge value, baby. You're all probably down there, if I had to guess. You're already working on a gen? Hold up. You guys down there? You guys down? Are you, got, are you guys down there? Are you guys down here? Hello? Hello. Hello, this is the FBI. Hello, open up. I found someone. Fucking painting like Sherwin will. Ow, my face! Fine, you can go. That felt actually pretty good. Did you drop? Did you drop it? You did drop it. I hear you. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Cotton Eye Joe? I've fucking lost her. Well, she is now... Oh, I hit none of that? That's cool. That's fine, detective. I will kick this. That felt pretty fucking dope. You gotta come back to this gen eventually. You sexy son of a bitch. Where'd you, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Why notice? Why? Why noise notification? Touch that gen, you little fuck. I dare you. Why was there a noise notification? Yes! Oh, detective! I have a, cl uh, uh, a clue for you. Oh, that motherfucker just ran. Which, yeah, he should have done that. Where'd you go? Well, you can't hide from me. Oh, there. Nope, that's her. Oh, there she is. That? Don't think that should have got her. Kick door! Kick doorheim! Are you just like camping pallets? No. Leon! My sp spew does not go that far. Where are you running to? Why are you running? I was gonna say, I'm gonna get you either way. I mean... I have to break it, because... Where'd you go, Leon? Was this always here like this? Because I don't remember it being like this. Oh man, I fucking took a swing and I fucking nailed it out of the park. Leon, where'd you where'd you go? What the fuck? 
Where'd this Leon go? Are you in here? That makes no sense. Bro, my game is off today. I am a bit fucking bad today. Me boyos. You were working on this, weren't you? Why is this one regressed? What the fuck? Hold up. That's the wrong one at the end of the corridor. They probably finished that one because I'm an idiot and didn't stop to kick it. Oopsie me poopsies. Yep. I saw you. I saw you, baby. Hello, Tab. I'm going to touch that again. What are you doing, my dude? Oh, because the... Yeah. Break door. What? Why? Why is there a generator in here? Fucking 15 gen just exploded. I don't- I, I didn't mean to BM you like that. I would like to pick up, please. Thank you. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna go this way. So where did you go? Oh, yeah, dang, yeah. Leon went this way. Y'all aren't wor wow, that regressed completely. Shit. Uh, yeah, every other gen is up here. So, did I see? I thought, man, my eyes are going. Thought I saw somebody up here. Did we regress every gen? I feel like that's impossible. Where am I going? Son of a bick. Wait, how did you get- uh, did you Kobe? I'm gonna say, did you fucking Kobe? Okay- oh good, we're all running meme builds, cool. Now I'm going to face camp you. Where you going, detective? Oh, down this way? Oh, no. Oh, no. You got DS? No, the one, uh... One perk I would think you would have, because... This is a good, uh... Yes. You're the one kill I will take. Thank you. There's just a gen in here. Why? That's the odd one out. Hell yeah, bud. Who did it? You're gonna try to body block because you have, uh, I want her. My, my dude, I want her. Could not care less about you. No? Alright. I thought that was the vault window. You got balanced? No, you don't. You, in fact, have death. So there's that. Where are we going? Oh, right here? Cool. This would have yeah. been the map to use fucking Scourge Hooks on. Eh, this would have been the map to use Scourge Hooks on. Once we get rolling, we can stop two gens from popping, hopefully. Tap's gonna try to fucking head-on flashbang, because of course he is. Hello, Lean. So you gonna take this vault? Mm, yep. My dude, you're not that smart. My dude, you're not that smart. You're not that smart. He thought he was slick. He thought he was slick. What he should have done was, uh... Wow, there's no fucking hooks around here, really? No, there's one at the end of this hallway. 
He should have saved that flashbang for when I was about to down him. Drop it. And then I should go kick this generator. You're right, me. In current times. No, that's already aggressive. Never mind. Hell yeah. Oh, and we got a fucking cleansing? Who hooked you? Oh, now I have corrupt purge. Oh, fun. That one was being worked on, wasn't it? I'ma hit it! So they're all cleansing now. That's fun. That's nice. They think that matters. Where'd she go? This asshole is dying. This asshole's dying now. No, he's not in there. I was gonna say. You're an idiot. So he got- oh my god, Flashbang needs a fucking nerf, man. You just blast that shit constantly? I'm surprised you weren't camping pallets as well. Shit. That kind of seems like your, uh... Your forte. Yeah, jump, yeah. My dude, I'm just gonna break this wall. I wonder where he could be. He's in one of those. Yes? Notification screen? No! I use head on! I know the fucking cooldown is 40 seconds because it's a fucking exhaustion perk for some reason. Where are all the fucking hooks here? Good lord. I mean, I don't got boil over, so... There is that. Here you go, you you get hooked here. You get hooked here, bud. Have fun, I'm glad you were the one. Oh, it's just a fun build. Yeah, it's annoying as dog shit, though. The fact that you can just, like... Somebody's there. Somebody's literally here. Well, there's that, I guess. Oh, we didn't get any use out of Dragon's Grip. We didn't get any use out of Dragon's Grip. But it, it did work in combination. We just kept losing tap. He just kept fucking disappearing into a fucking locker because quick and quiet. I'm willing to bet he's got quick and quiet, right? Is she really the cancerous one? Because I thought that would be tap. Just leave. You are actually wasting my time, madam. Fucking leave the time. Ah, oh, time to give no shits about this fucking game. Can you leave? But yeah, uh, Surge has always been great. Surge has always been really good. Uh, but now it has no cooldown, so you can pull shit like that, just down multiples back to back, and you get multiple procs. That's pretty good! Um, Overcharge is good because people don't expect it. Right? People aren't going to expect it. I, I, th I think Call of Brian is still going to be used more. That's just a me thing. That's just my... I think my personal preference if I have to kick a gen. I know B Pop isn't as good anymore, right? But I think it still might actually be more useful than Overcharge, maybe? Um, I don't know. I don't know, maybe Skirchuk is still good. Skirchuk is still good, and I still recommend behavior. Uh, if you're in the Exegate for longer than half of the fucking uh, endgame collapse bar, Blood Warden should immediately proc. Because this shit is stupid. If they're going to waste my time, they should probably die. That should be a kill for me. 
You wanna be toxic assholes, wait for a teabag, clicky clicky bullshit. Um, yeah, you should get Blood Warden. Sucks to suck, though. Hey, we fucking annihilated it. Uh, no quick and quiet. Stake out? No, yeah, it was quick and quiet. Head on, flashbang. Oh, you don't even have good head on. You got tier one head on. You come at me with tier one head on? Yo, 40 second head on? Or 40 second exhaustion timer because jumping out of a locker takes a lot out of you. It shouldn't, it should not be one. It should not be one. Oh, hey, BMP is going to be uh, ruining everything now because now gens take longer, so more progress from BMP will be made up. Uh, nerf toolboxes, remove BNP. That was the solution, not add extra 10 seconds. Uh, that's my TED talk. Kindred? Kindred's good. Uh, self care is dog shit now. It just is. Bar time? I don't think it should have the effect it has. You keep- they keep their endurance satisfaction for an extra 10 seconds and their movement speed- No, that's- that's stupid. That's 15 seconds of endurance. Why? It's fucking why? The buff, not a buff, but making a bar time base kit, like bar time light base kit, was to incentivize killers not to tunnel. They're gonna fucking do it anyway. They're gonna fucking do it anyway. But there's no, uh, I don't know, bar time didn't need this this type of rework. That's just me. Uh, detective hunch. Oh. Adrenaline still really good. Saboteur. Neat. Flashbang because he's Leon. DH. DH is dead. <laughs> Just use light. Or sprint burst. Whichever one. Self care. Adrenaline. Lightweight. That's why I kept losing her then. Because her scratch marks kept disappearing. Just randomly? Very weird. Also, blast mine. Oh, there's that. There's that. Uh, overall. Overall. Um. Scourge hooks are confusing as shit. At least, Floods of Rage is. Um, the kicking animations feel a lot better. They, uh, they're, they're really good. Like, and it's only a 10% speed increase. But that, like, 0.2 seconds, it feels a little better. It feels a little better. Book four different survivors. Okay. Well, at this pace, probably not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, kicking doors uh, shouldn't be a thing you need to do because... Doors shouldn't be a thing, but hey, hopefully we're past that era of behavior. I hope. Garden of Joy, to my knowledge, doesn't have any breakable doors. At least I haven't seen any because that fucking house is so goddamn dark. There's that fucking chest in that one room that's pitch black. Farmer John pointed it out. I'm like, what the fuck? No, there's not. There is. There's a chest that spawns in that house 100% of the time, and you wouldn't know it because that room is literally just the shade black. You can't see anything in that room. That that house needs a fuck- that map needs a rework ASAP. Woof. That's bad. But hopefully we're ba past that, hopefully new... They're threatening us with revealing Wesker the third, so I guess I'll do a reaction video to that shit, because... Oh... Woof. Um, which also probably would line up with the PTB because I'm pretty sure, like, the start of September, first week or two, is... is gonna be, like, the official release? I don't know. Um... They're threatening us with that. But hopefully, whatever map he comes with... Uh... Doesn't have doors? That'd be great. That'd be really great. Doesn't have breakable doors, at least. Uh... But Overcharge, it does what it does. Um, Jolt is just way better. Jolt is just way better. Um, did we get corrupt value in that match? Probably not. We did down some. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We almost had the tap, and then he fucking quick and quieted into a fucking locker. Woo. Um. He probably saw that in a fucking JRM video. I'm willing to bet. Quick and quiet head on and flashbang. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, probably. Probably some 
DBD tubers video. Um, we didn't get, we didn't really notice this because it still stayed up for two minutes. We still got a lot of value out of it. Um, Jolt has always been good. Now it doesn't have a cooldown. It's even better. Overcharge. It does what it does, right? You kick a gen, starts regressing very slowly, and then it speeds up to 200%. That's pretty good. But, again, I don't know my letters, so that's fun. Call up Brian, you kick a gen, it starts regressing at 200% just at default. You don't have a ramp up. So I think this should have been 75 to at least 300. But again, I think they're looking at that failed skill check results in an additional 5% loss of progress, so... There's that. Um, Lethal Pursuer, you see people for 11 seconds. And then you don't know how flood, Floods of Rage work. So that's fun. I should have tested it with fucking barbecue. I should have done that, but um... Pain Resonance is still really good. Uh, Gift of Pain? We, we may have gotten value out of that because they they suffer from hemorrhage and mangled. And uh, it nicely tells you at the bottom, mangled decreases time re required to heal by 25%. So there's that. So we may have gotten value out of that. I don't know if... Uh, we only started hooking people at the end, so probably not. Or hooking people on Scourge Hooks at the end. Um, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to screw around with Scourge Hooks a little bit more. Let's kind of see, right? Um, there's a whole slew of perks I've never used because I never had access to them on every killer. Like, Merciless Storm. I've played against it, but I've never really used it. Actually, scratch that, I've never used it. Um, Starstruck, I've never used it. Uh... Oh yeah, I didn't test out Thana. I should probably bring this up because Thana got a 2% bonus, uh, 2% boost. I played against, in full effect, Thanatophobia. It really didn't change th anything. I know people were making a big fuss about it. But, oh, it's gonna tend to take four minutes now. Um, no. Uh, if anything, it goes from 90% or 90 seconds to about, like, what? Add 20% 20, 20 to that. A fifth. Uh, 105. We'll say 107 seconds with full Thanatophobia in effect. You're rarely gonna get that unless you're playing against like a really top tier legion. So no, Thanatophobia is not broken. It is actually pretty balanced still. Oh, again, you could have buffed this and left gens at 80 seconds, but you know, whatever. Um, there's just a bunch of perks that I've never really used. I see a lot of, I saw a lot of videos being like, Blood Echo is really good. Well, I never had it on on anybody because I didn't probably unlock it on Oni, because how grindy the game was, but now I can fucking use whatever I want. So that's, that's really exciting. That's extremely exciting. So like I said at the beginning, if you have any build suggestions for Plague, for, uh, you know what, I'll just say any of them, because we're bringing back Let's Learn, we're gonna be starting with the artist, that's gonna start, uh, the next killer video after this. I have no idea when this video goes up. Probably gonna be Friday the 22nd. Yeah. That'll probably be then, or maybe even just, I'll probably, maybe upload it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, this will be the next killer video. Learning the artist. My favorite killer to play against. Yay. Um, so if you got build suggestions for her, Onryo, Dredge, uh, for let's learn that'd be I would appreciate that if you got builds you just want to see on killers when their name rolls on the uh oh let's kill with the wheel I can run pretty much every build now the only perks I don't have are probably the basic perks like the um uh let's see if I have it do I have it on pig do I have, do I have good ones on pig uh bitter murmur deer stalker uh unrelenting uh, whispers, you know, the, the, uh, I have Monstrous Shrine on her. So, the perks like that, you know, nondescript, uh, perks. The, I obviously don't have on every killer, but I basically have every perk on every killer now, so let me know.
Let me know what builds you would like to see. Good ones, bad ones, meme ones. I'll try them all, see what I like, and see uh, see how they go. But I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed what you witnessed, hook the like button, more the subscribe button, bing bong that bell. And until next time, I will see you in the fog. Good luck. <laughs>